why did you decide uh, to contest for this uh, post after so many years? <laughs> well, quite frankly, um, this has been going on for the last three years or so. Uh, members of the bar, senior, junior, all members of the bar have been coming and saying that, trying to persuade me. I have been resisting it because it's a lot of responsibility. Uh, and of course, this year, um, all of them came together and and I understand that there are huge challenges that are facing the legal profession. Challenges relating to the new entrants of the bar. Challenges relating to <clears throat> the relationship between the Advocates on Record Association and the registry. Challenges relating to how cases are suddenly uh, listed at 11 o'clock at night. Um, and uh, each court follows its own procedure as to which matter will be heard first. Nobody knows about it till the morning. Uh, challenges in respect of, you know, the, the uh, respect to members of the bar. These are all issues that are, are very important. And of course, the need for coordination between the Advocates on Record Association through an institutional mechanism with the bar as such. Connectivity with other bar associations in the country. You must also remember that the legal community was at the forefront of change. Right. Right. At the forefront of the national movement as well. And we've lost that, you know, that that will to be part of the mainstream of this country and 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 be at the forefront of change. So if you can recollect um, among the past SCBA presidents whom do you think has contributed the most to the bar? I'm not going to I'm not going to answer that question for the simple reason that all of them who have been in this position have tried in their own way to do what they can. Okay, okay. Um, so the last year saw a lot of instances where the SCBA had written letters to the Chief Justice of India regarding judgments, etc. Later on, there were fissures that were becoming apparent within the body itself with the you know, president taking a stand and the body yeah, taking you know, a stand. This is very what you're asking is, is a very important uh, issue. Uh, the fact of the matter is that when you are a member of the legal fraternity and you are practicing in a court, um, the only ideology that you should espouse is that of the cultural and the constitutional values embedded in our constitution, right? Fraternity, equality. Remember, why are we lawyers? It's a question that we must ask ourselves. Governments come and go. Every government, only when it exceeds the parameters of the law, right? Can such decisions be challenged? Right. The lawyers are meant to uphold the rule of law. The purpose of a lawyer is to protect constitutional values. All governments, in fact, are prone to making decisions which are in excess of their responsibility right. and in excess of their rights, right? which is why parliamentary laws are challenged which is why executive decisions are challenged, right? And what are lawyers for? They are meant to stand up for the rule of law. That's our only value system. No politics comes into that. It doesn't matter which political party you belong to. So if you now start dividing the bar on the basis of the person belonging to a political party or having leanings towards one party or another, actually you're not fulfilling your duty as a lawyer. Right. You may have your personal inclination towards a political philosophy, but that's nothing to do with your role as a lawyer in this institution. And I think that that used to happen. We belong to, you know, we were, I was a member of, of, of a political party at a given point in time. We never espoused the causes of that ideology in court because it's not relevant. In a court, what is it? We are either challenging a legislation saying that it is in violation of my fundamental rights, right? Or we're challenging a government decision, which is in excess of the powers of the government. Or we are saying that, look, this particular legislation impacts this class of people, right? And therefore, 
uh, this is unconstitutional. So these are the challenges in court. Right. Now, those are challenges which have nothing to do with ideology. Right. right. And people will appear for one party or another, but a member, a, a, a section of the bar must not associate that person that he is appearing for that that, inst that 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 section of the people because he's anti somebody or pro somebody. Right. He has taken a brief, right, and uh, he's arguing that brief. For example, the matter of policy. I believe that those who are indigent, those who don't have the wherewithal, don't who, who has no access to courts, I would love to appear for them, as I have done in the past. I've done it as a young lawyer. I've been doing it throughout. Now that gives me pleasure. Now money is irrelevant in situations like this because I feel that those people can't, does, don't have the wherewithal right. to afford lawyers' fees. And that's a, that's that's nothing to do with my politics. It's something to do with my commitment and as I see the profession. Right. So if I represent a particular institution, will belong say to the minority, right? I am doing it as a matter of law. Right? Right. And, and nothing to do with politics. Now, how do you see the bar evolving now since the last time you were the president in the 90s compared to now 2024? How has the bar evolved? Well, you know, things have changed, radically changed. Okay. And things have radically changed because of the fact that many more members have entered the profession. Right. And many of them are young people who suddenly decide to start practicing in the Supreme Court. Right. There is no bar, nothing wrong with that, for they are not practicing in the Supreme Court. Many of them don't have too much of an experience. And many of them don't have access to chambers who can pay them well. Uh, so many of them have to have a place in Delhi, have to have a library, have to have a wherewith wherewithal to reach the court. Uh, they, they also have to have clerks. They have to rent a place. Now, all that needs money. And so you should be earning enough in your profession to be able to afford that. Many of them cannot. And if somebody falls sick in their family, where do they go? So these are issues that impact every member of the community, which was not so earlier. Okay. Which was not so earlier. So there are huge challenges uh, that young, young lawyers have to face. And, and there's no institutional mechanism to deal with. And sir, what are the, you know, if, if, if you could just list down the top five things that you wish to do or you aim to do for the bar once you're elected as well. Yeah, first of all, it's not a question of what I wish to do, aim to do. I tell you what I've done in the bar. Okay. All right. This bar didn't have a drinking water facility. I organized that. This bar, I set up a railway center here that time, remember, you had to, lawyers had to go to the railway station to book their ticket. I'm talking about the past. Right. Right. I organized a railway center here. The canteen downstairs was organized by me. The RK Gurk uh, Cold Chamber Library was set up by me. So, as and when issues arise, we do what we have to do. And all these issues, whether it's about medical insurance, whether it's about housing, whether it's about all kinds of issues that arise in the bar, the uh, communication between the bench and the bar, upholding of the rule of law, advocates and records association, the difficulties they face. These are issues that are going to arise and we are there to deal with them. So the last day, the question is, are you confident of winning this year's SCB elections? We are not concerned about who will win or who will lose. Okay. What's important is, that you stand there for a value system. And that value system is our constitution. It doesn't matter who wins, who loses. I hope whoever wins upholds the values that we are here for. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Sir.